A prisoner who escaped from a maximum security prison in New South Wales yesterday has appeared briefly in court. Stephen Jamison was recaptured by police late last night. He'd been on the run since the afternoon, having climbed over the wall of Goulburn Prison using bedsheets he'd tied together. His reporter Mark Reddy. Mark, what happened in court? Ros Stephen Jamison was back in his prison greens this morning when he appeared very briefly here at Goulburn Local Court. Now, no emotion was showed as bail was formally refused. And obviously, this is in relation to a breakout yesterday, which occurred at around one o'clock. He broke out of the prison and he led police on a high speed chase and was arrested last night. He's facing charges, several charges, including escaping police custody, driving unlicensed, using Sky's law to lead a police pursuit, and uh, an illegal use of a motor vehicle while on that chase. Now, he has just been taken to Goulburn Police Station, and I understand he will be back in Goulburn Maximum Security Prison shortly. The case has been adjourned to October 14th. And tell us a bit more, Mark, about how Stephen Jamison escaped. Well, at around one o'clock yesterday, police noticed that the 28-year-old had gone missing. It's alleged he broke out of his secluded cell and uh, made it his way into the exercise yard with a whole bunch of sheets, which he allegedly tied together and formed a rope, which he sort of threw over the prison wall. Now, to avoid injury, he actually had a pillow strapped around his waist and managed to climb out of there. And uh, he was then spotted at Marulan, which is a town about 25 kilometres away. And uh, it's alleged he stole a vehicle from a farm. And uh, that was spotted on the Hume Highway heading towards Sydney. Now, uh, police uh, continued that pursuit, which lasted around an hour. And uh, he was arrested at Pheasant's Head, which is about 80 k's away from Marulan. Uh, because of road spikes which stopped the car. He was arrested as he tried to flee the scene. And this is pretty embarrassing for authorities, Mark. What action have they taken so far in response? Well, as I mentioned, Roz, he was in a secluded cell and that's because earlier this month there was a hole which was found in the prison workshop, uh, a cavity of about 60 centimetres deep. And it's suspected that Stephen Jamison was somewhat involved in that as well. And, and as we've heard from the corrections uh, minister, he has actually escaped from prison before. But authorities want to ensure people that he was in maximum security, not supermax, where the state's most dangerous criminals are held. Now, Corrections New South Wales has ordered an independent review into this escape and the earlier incident with the hole, and that will be headed by the head of uh, New Zealand's Department of Corrections. So obviously they will be looking into both incidents and trying to come to some sort of conclusion about how these security breaches occurred. Thanks, Mark.